is that? And at a local clearance thrift for maybe 15 cents? What? I wasn't able to find any information on the artist, so I decided to list high and see what happens. Sold in about 30 days on Mercari for full asking price of $375. What? Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, we are gonna talk about big money bolos, items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully buy low and sell for a profit. I'm gonna tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. What on earth am I talking about? I am talking about members of my Facebook group. This is my Facebook group. Definitely go over and join if you haven't already. There's a link down below. But this is what I posted. It says, share your best March bolo. And everybody that wants to participate, in the comments, they share a bolo item. A bolo is an item that to be on the lookout for. An item that they picked up cheap and sold for a profit. So let's get started here. The first one comes from Bolo Buddies member, The Quiet Thrifter. She says, I bought this oversized Art Deco light shade for $4 at a garage sale and took a best offer of $50. Buyer paid shipping. The best tactic for shipping big breakables like this is to pack the inside with paper, wrap in lots of bubble wrap, and double box. It's doable. This thing is scary. <laughs> I would not want to ship it. But she said that's what she did and it looks like it probably made it safe it says vintage oversized art deco large frosted glass lampshade uh torch oh torch torchier shade probably said that wrong t-o-r-c-h-i-e-r-e -E -E. and if you go over and follow her ebay store the quiet thrifter i'll link it down below she is really great with keywords and she sells a lot of really cool vintage um breakables things that i walk past so definitely check her out to learn more um she is a bolo buddies member what that means is she has joined my youtube channel for perks at level two to be mentioned in this video with a clickable link down in the description everyone is welcome to join memberships at level two if you would like that perk if not you are welcome to share a bolo for free and i will shout out the bolo in this video to help everyone learn and you guys get to see your bolo. So super fun. Either way, it's completely free to share. But if you would like those perks, that join button is down below. Here is her next bolo. Bought this Robert Rakes. I believe it's pronounced Rakes. Large wood face circus bear off of Facebook Marketplace for $17 and took a best offer of $80. Buyer paid shipping. And what's funny about this I have one of these and mine has on pajamas and I still have it. It's one of those things that I just, it has sentimental value to me and I cannot get rid of it, but it has a wood face. And I remember I used to sleep with this thing as a kid. It has a wood face. I mean, how uncomfortable would that be to sleep with? Um, but anyway, I still have mine, but this brings back some, some memories. I'm pretty sure it's this, it's gotta be the same maker. I'd have to go look it's upstairs, but anyway, I should show it to you guys sometimes. It's in rough shape. His little nose is all scuffed up and he probably fell on the ground quite a bit. But this is a Robert Rakes Original Circus Collection Ringmaster plush. And this is what it looks like. This also comes from The Quiet Thrifter. She always sells some very interesting, cool stuff. I bought this Kitchen Witch at a thrift store for $4 and sold it in a day for full asking price of $56. Buyer paid shipping. It's a vintage dandy 1978 Good Luck Kitchen Witch with original tag. Never heard of a Good Luck Kitchen Witch. <laughs> That's what it looks like. Wowza. All right, this next one, it says, I got these at a garage sale for a dollar. Sold for asking price in six days. Vintage pictures and mirror made in Italy. Uh, vintage ornate metal two frame pictures, flowers, one mirror oval, set of three made in Italy. Sold for $48.56. So $3 into $48.56. That is nice little profit there. Free donation. 
sold for $197.99. You got to love it when you get stuff free. Um, Gottinger Old Bouquet. Is that bouquet? <laughs> Silver plate flatware set. Uh, this is what it looks like. Paid under $5 for this little cat figurine at a thrift store. It's small enough to fit in the palm of my hand. Going to Switzerland through the eBay International Shipping Program. They paid full price of $149.95. The Franklin Mint Curio Cabinet Cat Figurine Blue and Gold Floral Sleeping. And this is what it looks like. And um, good thing to note is that it's just tiny. It's small. And $5 into almost $150, free shipping on that one. But since it was going internationally, um, eBay will charge shipping fees from the shipping center to uh, Switzerland. So they will have shipping fees, just not on the original shipping from her to the eBay International Shipping Program location. That's the part that's free. Purchase this original oil painting at a local clearance thrift for maybe 15 cents? What? I wasn't able to find any information on the artist, so I decided to list high and see what happens. Sold in about 30 days on Mercari for full asking price of $375. What? Oh my goodness. Look at it. MCM oil painting port portrait signed, framed, Nancy Drew, George P.R. Nelson. How cool is that? And she's got um, a view without the sold through it. And she has a view of the back as well. That's very interesting, right? Wow. Wow, 15 cents. Would you guys have picked it up or would you have walked past it? I don't know. My husband would have picked it up. He loves that stuff. Picked this up a week ago at a local church-based thrift shop. I paid $2. It is a baby Morgan with the balloons, if you don't know about this bolo, everyone needs to know about this bolo because it is always a bolo. Um, J.E. Baby Morgan Cozy Balloon Thermal Blanket. Paid two bucks and sold it for $227.50 plus shipping. Again, a bolo that everyone needs to know about because you will find them. I haven't found one yet, but I'm hoping to. All right, this one comes from YouTube channel vintage spice and she has amazing bolos definitely check out her what sold videos they are incredible mixing it up this month instead of my usual is it niches or niches niches i always mess that one up oh my goodness niches niches i think i've heard it both ways bought in a random high bid lot of watches that had almost no bids so pennies into it sold Full price sale of $52.43. It is a vintage 1990s Fern Gully, the last rainforest watch. And this is what it looks like. Untested as is. And it's still sold for that much. This one comes from Bolo Buddies member Nina's Jewels. Paid $7 for this vintage 1980s Cabbage Patch Kid at a thrift store. Sold on auction for $142.50. And I think it's got to be because of this awesome picture. <laughs> I mean, how on earth did she get it to stand up like that? It had more than 30 watchers. The outfit had wires. Oh, and it in in it, and that made the doll poseable. He also had teeth, which I think is sought after feature. He was pretty darn cute. I think I have one of these wire outfits um, to list. Um, I think I was planning on doing um, a doll clothing show on whatnot, and I think that's one of the items that I have. Oh my goodness, that is hilarious. I wondered why there were wires in the outfit. So yeah, follow me on Whatnot. I am Bolo Buddies. My link is down below. If you use that link to follow me, um, you will get $15 to shop. That is my referral link. And um, I also am using the Marketplace over there. So I have items in my Buy It Now section. And I'm trying to keep those items super, super cheap and a really good deal. Um, so definitely go over there and check that out. And you guys, you can use whatnot as a marketplace. So in between doing live shows or, um, 
if you like just need a break from doing live shows and you just want to sell on the marketplace, they are starting to push that more. So uh, there's like a search bar. I did a whole video on it. This is what the video looks like. You can go check that out for more information, but definitely, definitely consider that if you're selling on whatnot. And if you are not selling on whatnot, but are buying, I also have a link down below that is a seller's link. If you click on that link, it will tell whatnot that I referred you. And from what I understand, if somebody refers you, you are more likely to get accepted quicker. So uh, click on that link down below. And But first, if you're not buying on whatnot, you got to check it out. Uh, there's been a lot of bolos that I have shared that people have purchased on whatnot. It's a great platform. Okay, so this is what the Cabbage Patch looks like. And her title it says Vintage 1980s Cabbage Patch Kid Boy Doll Blonde Blue Eyes Teeth Poseable Action Wear. Great title. Um, he's super cute. And I have heard that about the teeth. Hello, I'm new to Bolo Buddies Facebook, but am obsessed with your channel. So I found this guy at one of our local Goodwill stores and picked him up for $3. Sat on him for a while because I didn't think his face was all that cute. Finally decided to list him and within minutes had several watchers and even more views. He just sold auction style and buyer paid immediately. I literally teared up. Oh, let's see what it is. It says large antique. Ooh, I can't read it. It's very, very small. And it's very, very another, another language, I think. Oh, these always mess me up here. Uh, G-E-B-R-U-D-E-R, -E -E I think. And then H-E-U-B-A-C-H. Hubach. Bisque dog and egg figurine Germany. How cool is that? Where'd she say she got it? Three bucks at the Goodwill. Wow. That is awesome. I picked up for $18 at an estate sale. Current eBay listings are $230 plus, but sold comps were $200. Sold within three weeks on Facebook Marketplace for $180. The buyer drove two hours to pick it up, and I had multiple other offers. Apparently, this specific TV is sought after for retro gaming. Great tip. Uh, Sony Triton 27-inch TV with remote model is KV-27FS120. This is what it looks like. So it's a gaming TV or used for that. The next one comes from Bolo Buddies member, the Kitschy Canson. I think I said it right the first time. Yes. This is her eBay store. Bought this from an individual for $20, listed it for $150, and within a month accepted an offer of $100. It is a vintage 7-Up Salesman sample soda pop wooden crate, and it even has the glass bottles. Pain to ship. Ah! I always hate shipping stuff like that. I would have probably passed by that, but that's a $100 bill right there. All right, a worker at the Volunteers of America thrift store just put these out and I didn't notice them until I walked back. I was just about to give up till I looked these up. I had no clue what they were. I picked both of these up in a single little case for $2.99. I sold both last night for $170 and $420. She said, hoot, hoot. <laughs> Mattel Rambers. Praying Mantis Bike Hot Wheels, RRR Rumblers, 1973. This one sold for $170. Never seen this one. I love it. Whoa, look at this next one. Vintage Hot Wheels Rumblers Bone Shaker with Rare Brown Rider Motorcycle, $420. And these both sold on auction. $2.99 for both of them. Are you kidding me? So $2.99 into what? $590, $590. Wow, that is awesome. And I didn't know about it. So this is a good learning one. Not that I, I don't know a lot about a lot of things, but that one is really cool. This one comes from Bolo Buddies member, Ohio Treasure Hunters. This is his eBay store. Pick these up at a yard sale a few years ago for 50 cents. Found it in my storage unit a few months ago. It took a few months to sell, but I got full asking price of $79.99 plus shipping for it. It is a Dice Season 2 Complete Collection DVD Anime Animated Box Set. DVD, guys. 
bam, $79.99 plus shipping. Do DVDs sell for big money? Not very often, but sometimes they do. So you got to look everything up. You got to look it all up. All right, here's this next one. I got this out of the Goodwill bins. Took around three months to sell from an offer I sent out of $42.49 plus shipping. Department 56 Glitterville Slick Nick. Slick Nick, the Bakerman Santa ornament, Stephen Brown Christmas. And this is what it looks like. And his last one here. I just had a good feeling about this when I saw it at a church rummage sale last year. This sat at the sale for three days before I got there on the last day and paid half off of $2.50 for it. This sat in my store with almost no interest for around eight months before someone offered me $300 for it and I accepted. Buyer paid shipping as well. Oh my goodness. Wow. He definitely took a discount. Um, he took a, an offer, I should say. Okay. It is a Wakashishi or no? Wakasha? Wakasha? Engine dresser, digital display assembly, ESMD 214-305-17-2971A. I don't know what any of that means. I don't know what it's for, but he originally had it listed for almost $1,200, but took a best offer of $300. So um, if anybody wants to tell me what that is, that would be great, but sold it for $300. Picked this up for $40 while out thrifting with my daughter. Sold on Etsy for full asking price plus shipping. Took about two weeks to sell. All right, let's see what she sold. Vintage 1950s. Cron Siamese, Cron or Cron, Siamese Cats TV lamp with original cord and bulb. $165 sold on Etsy. And these are awesome. So it's a light. Okay. So this one comes from Bolo Buddies member. I'm not sure who because she didn't write it. I am going to pop it up right here. And I will link her down below, but I have to do some digging to find out what her eBay store is. Um, it says, my first ever bolo to you. I bought this at a thrift store and it was taped all around so I couldn't see what pieces it had. Loved the game and knew since it was vintage, someone needed what was in the box. I heard bolo buddies in my head say, when in doubt, parted out and decided to try. Paid $1.49. Turned out it had all of the pieces. 1991 vintage edition. Got full asking price of $27. Less fees on Poshmark. Not huge, but I'll take that profit. So she bought it thinking I'll part it out and decided to um, sell it as a complete set. So I will tell you guys that I like to list board games on Poshmark because of the shipping costs. Um, if this were to be on eBay, the shipping would be higher than it would be on Poshmark. So you just got to make sure it's under five pounds. Uh, it looks like, oh, I can't even, it's too small to read. I was going to tell you her posh closet, but I can't read it. You guys might be able to see it better in the photo. All right, the next one. Purchased in an online auction. Cost was right around $3. Took an offer of $450 within eight hours of listing. Viking swung glass vase. Yeah, this swung glass is just, it, it's crazy right now. It is major trending. Uh, $450 and paid $3 for it. Viking lilac tea berry 20 inch swung glass six petal footed vase rare. It's amazing, right? This one comes from YouTube channel Childhood Finds, and she has really cool bolos. I am so excited about this sale. I picked this book up for $2.50 at St. Vincent's Thrift Store and sold it in less than 24 hours for $505. This is my best flip ever from a thrift store purchase. Check it out. Alcoholics Anonymous, first edition, 13th printing, 1950, AA Big Book, Works Publish definitely a cool bolo, right? I told you she has cool bolos. Go sub her up, guys. Picked up 18 Yankee Halloween candles at Meyer for $2.97 each. Just sold three to the same person for $29.99 each. Full asking price. Bought in January of this year in the clearance section. They are Yankee Candle Witches Brew uh, three wick candles. This is what they look like. So looks like the total was $89.97 
for three of them and she paid nine bucks at Meyer. Do you guys still have Meyer in your area? They all went out of business around here locally. We used to have Meyer, but it's been many, many years ago. Here are my curbside shopping Facebook marketplace sales for the month. My favorite price is free. If it is grat gratis, is that some sort of Jerry? If it is gratis, gratis, grab it. Total money, no fees. Is that like another language for free? Or is he just playing games? I don't know what he's doing. Uh, Jersey uh, Shore Thrifter uh, is his eBay store. $135 this sold for. Did I mention I paid zero? It's a 50 gallon glass reptile tank. So this sold for 75. And the other one is this Magna Cart folding hand truck dolly. It sold for 20. And the next one is this 12.5 wreck reef anchor that sold for 40. Let's see if he did his math right. 75, 20. So that's 95 plus 45. 135, he did his math right. So he turned free into $135. Um, but yeah, Jerry's been around the channel since the very beginning. So I always shout him out because he's awesome. Um, him and his wife do this. And um, they like, he likes to, to grab the free stuff off the side of the road. So it's awful, obviously paying off for him. Me, I don't like that big Facebook stuff, but he's doing really well with it. So if you guys do Facebook Marketplace, definitely consider driving around and picking up stuff off the curb. We're going to do one more here. Purchased at the Goodwill Bins for $1.28. Sold on eBay within 24 hours of listing for full asking price of $89.99 plus shipping. The Good Feet Store Arch Supports Honeycomb Soul, Honeycomb Soul Rigid Strengthener. What? Are you kidding me? $89.99. Wow, that is incredible. That uh, That's a good one. I'm not sure I would have picked those up. If they're in the original box, I might have. I might have looked twice. But anyway, all right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. There's going to be some videos popping up here and here and a subscribe and another but bolo video down below. Definitely subscribe if you're new here. Tell me how you found the channel. Let me know which bolo surprised you the most because I know there were a lot of unexpected bolos in this video. And again, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Thanks to everybody that shared. Thanks to everybody that's a member. And you guys rock. Thanks for watching. And I will see you at the next one. Thanks for watching.